Uh, how's the volume on this? this no. So, uh, how about that fucking intro? Um, just a little bit of test of footage here. Me playing Rage. Uh, my intention when I came in here, I just wanted to melee everything. Uh, whether I was going to live or die, I just wanted to push. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing here, but I dropped that supply drop and started to do a range combo. Disregard that. That was the brain fart. I have no clue what was happening there. I think I was trying to pop an orbital or something and somehow tried to, I don't know what happened. Pretend that never happened. Should have started the video after that. <laughs> um, my intention of this video was, or this run, was for me to just come in here and melee absolutely everything, live or die, just push the limitations and see what was going to happen, see how viable melee and everything is. Uh, that's what you do on test, test. You know, so I just figured, let's go in here, act like an idiot, go crazy. Another thing is, I know the quality's bad. I gotta adjust the settings in my OBS. I'm gonna have to ask Matt Rabbit or someone for help, because uh, quality's a ass. It looks really good in my editor right now, because I'm watching it on a smaller screen. So, just try to watch it on something small, and it'll look okay. Um, I'll try to get it straightened out, though, so I can post some stuff up, and it'll actually be normal quality and watchable. Bear with me. Um, another thing is my Windows computer is pretty trashy for running tests. When I just run tests and I don't and I don't record, my computer runs great. But as soon as I turn on OBS and start recording, it gets a little bit sketchy. So sometimes the buttons that I'm pushing aren't really happening. And I tried to drink a soda there. I, I don't know. Go nuts, <laughs> right? <laughs> but sometimes the buttons that I'm pushing. It's not really happening on the computer, so sometimes it looks like I'm an idiot and I'm doing really weird stuff, but that's just stuff that happens when it's lagging. Like, I think it happened at the second boss. I think everybody called out their sidekicks and there was like nine sidekicks going out, plus everybody else and all the other stuff that was going on, and my computer was just totally taking a dump, and I don't know, I don't know what was happening. I didn't even get to watch that part in the video, but I'm sure when the second boss comes up and you see a whole bunch of pets, I'm probably doing some really weird stuff at that time because my computer just shit out. And, uh, but other than that, uh, I don't know where I'm going, but other than that, uh, what else can I say? Oh, the power cost versus the damage. I think Rage's power cost now, after the first update, are in a pretty decent place versus the damage they do. I was actually able to keep my combos going in here with two trolls pretty reliably. There was definitely some times where I had to pace myself not clip in severe punishment, maybe not use my PI, uh, but PI damage is only 10% I think, so it's not like a huge deal, but you definitely do better when you use a PI. Um, I like that though. I like everyone to not have super unlimited power, but at the same time I like everybody to have adequate power. I feel when you have to have a little bit of power management, that's where a better player will excel, because like a rookie or a noob, whatever you want to call him, would just come in and blow through all his power. And even if he's getting low, he won't be managing his power. He'll just still be blowing through his power. So in a situation like that where power gets low, and like a, a more veteran player notices power is getting low, he's going to start slowing down, maybe not using everything he has. And I like that. That's a little... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to call that. Whatever. You know what I mean. It's like... What time is it? 3.54 in the morning. Give me a break. This commentary is going to be a mess. Uh, range is in a pretty good place right now. I feel it does good damage. The range setup needs a little bit of work. Because uh, Dreadful Blast has a long cooldown. So you can't really clip Dreadful Blast with Dreadful Blast. You have to throw something else in. You could clip Dreadful Blast a little bit. But you see almost the whole entire animation of the underhand throw. And... No one's really going to play like that. Hopefully we can get that combo adjusted so you could clip it with itself a little bit more. Or we get another range burst power that you could do a Dreadful Blast and clip that burst power in. And then continue Dreadful Blast. Uh, other than that though, I really feel like Rage right now is in a pretty decent place. The cone damages on some of the attacks, like uh, Plasma Wretch and stuff like that. like. Cones in general, I'm sure you see my videos, have just been narrowed. And I don't agree with that in a lot of situations, because it makes a lot of powers suffer. If you're standing point blank, you're not hitting everything sometimes. 
I, I don't know. You can just watch the other videos I put up. I don't know how to explain it now. It's late. I should just stop talking. I die a couple times. Sometimes the tank fights off a little more. He could chew. Gets us killed. And test over, you've got to kind of take it slow on the edge. You can't really pull a whole ass load of them. Or you're going to get pooped on like you see once or twice in this video. Um, oh, I think it took us like 30 minutes or something to get through here, but it didn't really take us 30 minutes. Um, we never wiped or anything. We just, our healer disconnected and then we were standing around waiting for him forever. And he never came back, so we just finished it up with seven people. Somebody else switched to healer. But all in all, stuff on test server is going pretty well. There's definitely some things we don't like, but there's definitely a lot of things we do like. I can tell you this, on test server, I am having 100% more fun than I do on live server. Live server right now is so trash and boring and everything is so stale, slow, one, two, three, boom. No skill involved in live server. But on test server, there's a lot more emphasis on paying attention to what you're doing. Better loadouts, you know, just... It's just way more skillful on test server. It's a lot better. Everything's not over in two seconds. It's it's good. I like it. So for all the people who are having doubts and now oh yeah, the tank right here, he bit off a little more than Pikachu and got us pooped on. But for all the people who are having doubts about the stats revamp, I'm telling you, what's on test right now, despite the bugs you may see myself point out or other players point out, it's in a really good place compared to what's on live server. And once everything gets all worked out, I think it's going to be great and I think the game will be pretty much how it was back in the day. It's uh, I don't know, it's pretty good. I like it. And I don't know what happened to those ads there, they disappeared. Uh, I don't know if anybody was big gun, I don't think anybody was munitions. I don't know what happened. But anyway, I guess that's it for me. Second boss is coming up. You're going to watch me get pooped down by our hand blaster. Hand blaster attack twice and then uh, after that I was like, you know what, I can't even power through that. I'm just going to stand in the back and you can watch how slow Dreadful Blast is when you're trying to clip Dreadful Blast with yourself. Uh, not a fan of that. Uh, I feel like I've rambled on enough. It's late in the morning. I've probably made no sense throughout this whole video, so uh, I'll see you guys later. Where the hell is the fucking stop button on this? <laughs> also, I wanted to point something out that I don't know if anybody notices, but now Outrage has an extra tap in the combo. So instead of being tap hold, you could do tap tap hold, which is nice because now you could rotate between just Outrage and Revenge and it frees up some slots on your bar so you could have a supercharge and some other things. Um, if I thought about it more, which I wasn't aware of that break, I was going to cost any power before I went into this, I really didn't mess with too much tank, so I wasn't aware of that. Um, but if I thought it out a little bit more, I would have ran a breakout on my bar. So that way, when I was clipping the Berserk, or just any time I clipped uh, my PI and Severe Punishment, I would have clipped them all with an immunity. Since it costs zero power, you know, you have that immunity frame, you get a little damage in before you get interrupted, and that would be a great combination with Berserk. So, you know, clip your PI, some severe punishment, Berserk, clip that with an immunity, then you have that little immunity frame so you can go nuts with, and that would be super nice. Also, you tend to get juggled a lot, so it's nice if you get countered, knocked over, stuff like that, to be able to actually break out with an immunity versus breaking out by actually hitting the block, because breakouts on test server cost an insane amount of power. Uh, not sure if that's intended or not, but it's definitely an issue I find. Um, here, our troll DC. So, how I would spec, I was spec in my skill points half might and half power. And I was running out of power, so what I did was I switched to my armory that I was spec full power into so I could maintain my power cost a lot easier. Because power dictates basically your power regeneration now. So, having more power, you regenerate more power. Simple as that. So what I did was I just switched my armory with full power and all crits. That way I could still do what I wanted to do with only one troll. And as you see me here, I probably got a whole bunch of people killed by being an idiot, but you know, hell, balls to the wall, I gotta test this out. <laughs> 
I could let me kill everybody acting like an idiot. <laughs> uh, all in all, though, fucking love the stuff that's on test. Awesome. Not everything. They just pooped on nature. But hopefully we get some good changes and everything comes out all right. Adios. From a floating deck to a fire deck to a fire time my grave and all men uh, Will you just be in? Uh, with my with your Take time day. to learn me like caught upon in the tourneys Restore the order, we either join or adjourning Let's join, I'm up performing the journey In all earnest, I go so burny Takes another nigga to turn me Get it straight, I ain't late on stage I'm just sternly stating How what I do with grace Takes another nigga to turn me My return means Like blockbuster with a tip And I ain't kind, but I don't hit So you starting at the end That's the part where you begin I skip the bullshit so we can start it where we win Yeah, spoiler alert I can hear you all saying Boy, you're a jerk But it's cool though, no, we gotta rule Yo, get it in, then we win and do it all again huh? From a floating death, to a fire death To a flower outside my grave And oh man, or will you just be in the light with your head And it really means I'm number one Then you're a fan Well that's cool, cause I think you're number one too yeah, that's cool, cause I think you're number one
And how dare you use the Queen of the Amazons against our father? May your soul return to your body on the Mysterium. Thank you, wise Athena. Father, these mortals had no choice but to... <laughs> it's about time you showed up. We had a deal? Here is the crown you so covet, Circe. Wear it while you may. No! You traitorous witch! I could get used to It's him! He returns to Olympus! To slay the king of the gods! Father is the one led to the blood of godly arrogance, as I, Typhon, god of monsters, take what I want from this puny pretender who wears the crown of Zeus. Wait, what? Monsters shall be the world. Typhon has always wanted to destroy the gods. 